Hello everybody, welcome back to Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, playing as the awful looking Earth Grimlock, who appears to be using Velstat's bell from Dark Souls 2, but whatever. And we're in the second last chapter, I believe, and we have to clear a path for Optimus. Now, I don't actually have any ranged weapons. I do have a shield, though. I didn't realise that in the previous mission. So we'll stick his robot form for a little while, and then we'll just go full T-Rex and kick ass. Now, this shield doesn't absorb like the Cybertronian one. Puny, puny... Oh, I can shield bash though. Yeah, I can shield bash. Fantastic. Let's see what we got. Now obviously, when I press triangle to form an execution. Oh right, I need to stab the guy. Yeah, like that. Again, that's a reused animation from the Cybertronian Grimlock. But you do that to get health back. Yes, I remember now. Boosh, boosh. I mean, he's so much bigger in this version, it's really unnecessary. He could just crush their skulls if he wanted. Time to teach a hey there! Oops, sorry Optimus. I like how they've changed Optimus's Earth design, I will say that. He looks a little bit different. Still the same kind of flame colour scheme that the Bay Prime has, but yeah, his design is just a little bit sleeker. I think the maybe took some inspiration from how he looks in the Prime TV series. Which is fine. I haven't actually seen it, but I mean, I've seen pictures of it. Rawr, Hulk smash. Sorry, I mean Grimlock smash. You didn't even need me to do that, you just dashed across. Also, why can't he speak? Your size would cause too much damage on the side streets. Drift, Bubble Bay, I'm on my way to your position. We're ready for you, Optimus. Enemies? I smell enemies. Apparently not. No? No. Okay, well if it wants me to go that way, just have a quick look over here in case there's any audio logs. Don't know who would be leaving audio logs in the Earth Time one, but whatever. I mean, it, mean, it mildly makes sense on Cybertron because there's a war going on. I hear Decepticons, but I'm still looking around. That shield bash is way too powerful. Mind you, if I'm getting shot at from multiple angles, clear the area of enemy forces. Can do! Well, except if there's enemies on the roof, and then I'm pretty much screwed. Let's see what we got. I don't think my flamethrower will reach there. Stomp, smash. Yeah, you put an energy on cube up there, that's handy. Uh, can I jump? Oh, I can jump. Actually, he looks very like the original design for Megatron in the very first movie tie-in game, which was a long time ago. Actually, no, it was, um... Yeah, it was the very first one, but he was a... a bit weird looking. And isn't it sad that I played every single Transformers game that's cashed in on the, the Bay phone. But I have, you know, I've enjoyed each of them a little bit. I can't deny that I have. It would be a lie if I said I didn't. And the one thankful thing to be, or to be thankful for, rather, is that the existence of those awful movies has created a resurgence in the interest of Transformers. A Titan. Okay, I probably want to be in dinosaur form for that then. Oh, actually, no, maybe I should just use the shield. You literally can't do any damage to me. So, yeah, and then you reload and then I smack you a little bit. And then I go back to shielding for a little while until my shield regens. Or does my shield not regen when I'm shielding? That makes sense! No, oh, you're immune to that. While holding L2, Chris, I already know that. I've been doing it like every second. My shield's about to go down, of course. They might be constant spawns until such time as I defeat the Titan. It's just uh, there we go. Yeah, they dropped the human. I think it's maybe time to go full dinosaur. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm hitting a guy in a bloody roof. My shield not regen. I need to take a cube for it to regen. Hmm, that appears to be the case. You stay over there. Where's the Titan gone? 
Ah, there he is. Smash, smash, smash. Right, so when he starts doing this, this is when I want to be in dinosaur form because I can use my flamethrower on the healing drones. I can't see a damn thing. I'm stuck. I can't actually move. I think I've been stuck in a corner. I'm going to have to change back to robot form just to bloody move. Yeah, I think half of myself was stuck. Oh, God. Yeah, half of me was stuck in the building there. This should give me an energon cube. Whee! Okay, now if we have enough room... There we go. Please don't get stuck in the wall this time so I can actually move. Dinosaur move! I'm just going to breathe on you until you die. Or until I die, whichever happens first, really. You can try and heal yourself, but then I can burn your healing drones. Yeah, you've got a lot of HP, don't you? Yeah, oh, but now you're dead. So we'll now we go back to the robot farm. Oh, am I getting hit from... I am getting hit from behind. How the hell did you end up behind me? Give me that cube. Thank you. And now I get revenge on all the small fry. If you wanted to farm all these, you know, defeat 100 soldiers, defeat 100 mercenaries, defeat 100 rocket troopers, etc. Just play this mission. Because it's really easy to kill them as Grimlock, and it appears that there's an infinite spawn. Let's see what we got. Or maybe not now, but when the Titan is alive, it certainly seemed like it. I do actually have a dash. Alrighty. Oh, okay, getting stuck on scenery a little bit. And again. Hulk smash the door. Yep, same animation. Subterranean facility under the city center. We will battle our way there. Enthusiastic about battle, Bumblebee? Really? Am I shoving this over? Yep, it forces me into position, by the way. I don't like shuffle myself. It does that. Well, that looks a little bit odd. Is that a turret up there? I'm not sure. Press R2 to grab objects. Oh, right. I brought this back. Thankful we'll beeps. We must keep pressing forward. Why is it only Drift and Bumblebee? Where's the rest of the Autobots? This looks like a fight room. No? Grimlock, we have reached the entrance, but the transmitters are enabling lockdown to destroy the beacons, which means picking stuff up. Can I pick up? Uh, that didn't pick that car up, really. Can I not pick up cards? Like to use only enemies? Oh, yeah. Apparently, maybe I've only to use enemies then. Oh, or a convenient pile of rubble. Whatever. Mercenary leaper. Oh, so now they have leapers from Cybertron as well. Isn't that adorable? Come get me. I'm not sure what form would be better against a leaper. I like having this brawl with them, though, it's quite well. Mind you, his back is his weak point, and I'm not getting his back from where I'm standing. I hope the Leapers aren't infinite spawn, that's what I'm betting on. I think I got his back a little bit there. Yeah, you can't get through shield, good. But I can't seem to get through your defences from the front. Can I execute you? No. I swear he just said Hulk smash. I swear. Alright. Chuck. This will probably spawn another looper. I'm just going to try and do this really quickly. It did! Oh, I missed barely. Son of a bitch. Oh, there is someone behind me. Excellent. I would like a health from you, please. Thank you. Oh, I didn't really need it. It's two leapers. Because, oh, well, he's gone. 
Yeah, I'm just going to run past you. Because I assume you're just going to be an eternal nuisance until I get this done. But yeah. Defeat the Leapers. Okay. That I can do. And I'm going to stick in robot form. Because I honestly think being able to block is better than the flamethrower in dinosaur form. Oh yeah, if I get a full combo on their back, that is actually it's death, so that's good. And I'll be taking a cube of you, please. Where'd it go? Different. Oh, my dash killed him there. Where is... Oh, that's right, the other leaper is blooming stuck back the way, so I need to go get him. Fine. Oh, Mr. Leaper, where did I leave you? You were down here, right? No? Are you behind me? No, it's just a regular guy. Where the hell did the other leaper go? Oh, there you are! Hey there! Are you stuck? I don't think I can get back up there. Uh, Mr. Leaper! Oi! Oi, 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 oi! I think he's stuck as well, you know. Can I reach him with my flamethrower? Oh, actually, I think that might have stepped me back up. Alright, I have to hope this kills him, because otherwise I'm reloading my checkpoint, because he's stuck. I mean, if I remember correctly, the Leapers take massively, massively reduced damage from the front, but it still does damage. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, is he sparking? He's not really sparking. Please die, I don't want to have to reload my checkpoint and do that damn thing again. Please. Pretty please, please just die. Oh, you're not dying, are you? Can I stampede up there? Come on, look, come over here and fight with Grimlock. Yeah, this is working. Well, screw it, I guess. Reloading checkpoint. One last time, come on. Look, tasty, tasty Grimlock. Oh, God damn. Da, 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 da. It'll be at the very start of this section, so it'll be all three things again. I'm going to just try and rush it this time, because that annoyed me. I mean, I can do the first two, and now I know roughly where to stand to chuck for the third one. If I do it fast enough, maybe only one leaper will appear, and that would expedite the process. Uh, yeah, back to throwing things, of course the bloody is. QE is a thing for a reason. That's all I'll say on that. Let's just grab this. Chuck it at that. Let's just grab this. Chuck it at that. Let's just grab this. We have to come forward to roughly here and throw like that. Gotcha. Defeat the Leapers and it is just the one. Okay. And I'll go get my health back from this guy first of all, or my shield rather. Yeah, you just hide there. I'm sure I, I'm sure I can't see you hiding behind that tiny, tiny tank. Right, run into this wall, and then one combo, you're done. Are we done, or do the other waves still appear? The other waves still appear. Oh dear. Right, leap at me. He got, they're saying he got away. I'm standing in the middle of an open field, and I'm a giant robot. And he got away, apparently. I think that's just a, a glitched audio cube. Not my opinion on that. One more leaper. Oh, there's a red dealie over there. Stompy, stompy, stompy! Right, let's see what that red thing is. Have I to destroy it? I have to destroy it. Execute two leapers in T-Rex form. Oh, you can execute them in T-Rex? Well, if you bloody told me before I did this... Oh well, you're not going to see me. I, I remember the animation of him executing people in dinosaur form from the other games. So if you want to see it, you can go watch my playthrough of the Superior Transformers games. Fall of Cybertron is by far the best. Although Warfare was good as well. It just had less of a focus on story. So it suffered a little bit as a result. Still a good game. Though I killed them both. Oh well. Stompy, stompy. Just fun, really. I'm just gonna. Oh, that, that glitched. Yeah. 
Anyone else? Also, this is a really, really weird layout of the city. Have you noticed? <laughs> Sorry, whoever owned that car. You can send a bill to Grimlock at Cybertron. I can't move. That Was that car seriously stopping you from moving? Oh, there's another one of those things. Okay. Next. Oh, there they are. Ah, there's another one of those things too. Don't trigger a cutscene. I want to go destroy this first. Although I think I'm still one short, right? Yep. Gentlemen. Defend Optimus. Oh, I hate defense missions in these. Still, I am a big robot. So, yeah, but they bloody... I hate... This is why I hate these kind of things in all games, by the way. I'm not just meaning this one in particular. The AI gets reprogrammed during these defense sections so that they always go after the person you need to defend and they ignore you to the point of being pants on head retarded as far as their actions goes. Like I'll run past this big giant dinosaur man because the guy I have to kill for the mission is there. Lockdown's mercenaries are upon us. I'm drifting be doing anything also. Yeah, see look, they just they stand right next to me and just ignore me. Even though I'm by far the biggest threat saying that those guys are actually shooting at me. The ones on the roof, the ones I can't reach are the only ones who are shooting me. I wish I still had my drone select because that would have been really good. I could just stand in front of him and block. But I assume there'll be a preset kill limit, like all kill bots. I mean, if there are people on roofs hitting him, there's bollocks I can do about it. Here comes another wave. Yeah, of course there's another bloody wave. Stompy, stompy! Also, apologies if you hear the really loud car outside that's just kicked his engine. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're a bigger one. Is that working? Is it not working, is it? Is he the only one left? But no, he's not. The guy over here. Uh, I can use you for help though. Because the Titan guy is actually programmed to hit me with a small fry. Isn't it? I wonder if I can kill them in Dex or Farm. Well, for, I don't know how, but Optimus got back to full health, so that's just good. I need health, please. Give me lovely, lovely health to nom on. Thank you. I've got another one. I think the shield bashing is really too much. Let's, oh, I was about to say let's try dinosaur form, but tread lightly achievement unlocked. Is that for maybe not using dinosaur form a lot? Or maybe not for stomping on a certain number of cars. Is that all he was doing? He was lifting that up. Grimlock could have just ate it. Well, assuming that this is the start of chapter 14, this will be the final chapter. And presumably ends with uh, Optimus and Lockdown having a showdown, I guess. So which leads me to believe that we'll be playing as Optimus once this finishes loading. If this does end up being the final mission, I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. I knew it would be a short one like, you know, recently, like Spider-Man as well. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Oh, that was a clearing of my throat and a burp at the same time, I apologise. Alright, we're finally playing as Earth Optimus. Chapter 14, Locked Down. Sure, well... Why can't I change forms here? I wonder if they didn't bother putting in his Earth transformation. Come on, Draft let me transform. Through. It's time to go. Grimlock can't hold them all off. I will stay with him to buy you time. Drift. No one can change their past, but know that your future is secure as a noble Autobot. Thank you, Optimus. Now let's ensure we have a future by stopping lockdown. Ah, he does. Oh, it's a bit weird looking, though. Still. Okay, so we're heading for the final confrontation here, so obviously I want... Oh, I've got three gearboxes I forgot to open in the last part. We can do that afterwards. Or can you do it from the main menu? I don't think you can. Path Blaster or Megatron's gun? Path Blaster or Megatron's gun? We'll keep it as that and we'll take... Oh, I've run out of heals. 
Well, crap. We'll take that. We'll take a shield then. And we'll take shield restore booster. That's not quite as good as a health, but what it'll do. What is the purpose of all this lockdown? What profit is there to be had from what and destruction? How else would I get all of your attention? Right, before we carry on, let's very quickly open these gearboxes. I had a gold one. I never noticed that. All right, what are we getting gold? Oh, yeah, classic Optimus Prime. I like that a lot. Brawl, we already had, yeah. Snarl, another Dinobot unlocked. Fine, we already had Zeta Prime. Um, upgrade for the burst rifle, okay. And the bronze is just ratchet, we've got that. Jazz, nice. Oh, wait, I already had Jazz. Okay, my bad. Demolisher we already had for sure, yeah. And finally, one bronze box, which has in it rubbish, shockwave, which I already had, yep. Rubbish, rubbish. Oh, we got a cure there actually, so I will go back and equip that instead of the barrier. Wait, I got a heal. Cured. Energy accompanies its user to the heal battle and heals the wounds. Oh, right, that's a new thing, actually. I didn't realise. So, cured are just drones that focus on healing. Well, let's go. It wants me to go this way. Oh, where the enemies are, no less. Let's see what we got. No more warmongering for you. Typically, I just got another crate, but I won't bother stopping. Any. Oh, we've got a gear shredder here. But I've got a glass cannon, so gear shredders are irrelevant. Got. So I am now sure that they didn't get Johnny Young ba Bosch back to voice Cybertronian Bumblebee, which is why he has no voice on Earth still, although that might be the time to, to the movies, and also why his appearances were so minute for the Cybertronian stuff, which is a great shame. And also for the general lack of other Autobot characters. <laughs> Even though my bullets can't traverse here for some reason. What do we have here? Heavy weapon ammo. Alright, so if I use up a few glass cannon shots, I can come back. Well, they actually maybe won't let me come back. Find and take an alternative route. Done. Also, where the hell are we? Enemies? Nope. The next room will, though. How do I know? Because it's big and open, that's why. Yeah, I do like this design of Prime. I actually prefer this design of Prime to the fall of Cybertron Prime, which I felt was way too bulky. Same with Megatron, actually. Whereas the War for Cybertron Prime I thought was really well defined. Simple puzzles is simple. Kill the enemies first before I concentrate on getting through these beams, I think. I wonder what happens if they walk into the beams. I could have waited a second there and found out. I really should have, or, well, actually, it isn't within my power to do this because I don't have the option of what I get upgrades for, but I really wish I had a Pathfinder Blaster upgrade so that I could increase his ammunition. Okay, so there's a force field there. We know from one of the previous stages that means I need to find a bloody switch, right? Is that a force field? That's not... No, that's just weirdly lit. Okay. Two for one. Oh, wait, he's still alive. Never mind, then. Come on, say that you've lost me. I dare you. I changed weapons, damn it. Are you running at me? You really? You're suicidal, man. Let's see what we got. Bye. Oh, yeah. And I'll. Oh, I need the ammo, damn it. Oh, I don't need it, but I'd like it. Grenade down range. The grenade ended up ended up in a really weird place. Okay, so there's one guy left alive up here. Ideally, I want an energy on cube, but I don't see any. So screw it, I guess. Execution style. Safe. Oh right, the Bumblebee uses grappling hook. I didn't even realise that. 
You are indeed taking losses, I will agree with you there. This will make no difference. Rocket guy on the right and at the dead end. Ahead. Oh, and he talks to the cube, although I don't need it. I must have picked one up without realising it again. That happens a lot. Heavy weapon ammo again, but I haven't been using it, so... Entrapment complete. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what it means, but within the context of the game, I don't know what that means. Oh. What made that explode? Was that me? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Hello, Drift. Drift, what transpires above? Grimlock is hunting the fleeing mercenaries. We are glad to have you with us again. Thank you, Optimus. It's good to be back. We will never surrender. Right, so what weapons is it offering me here? The Pulsar Cannon. That's the... you can choose when it explodes, right? I think Glass Cannon is honestly the better decision here. And this appears to be the showdown? No, if not now, soon. Alright, let's see what happens then. Oh, Titan? Nope. Yes. Well, it's one of those mini Titans. Glass Cannon Spam is probably required. Actually, Thermal Rockets and Vehicle Farm is probably required. Drift, get away from there, you madman. What the hell are you doing? It's like you're bouncing off him constantly. Yeah, you're taking losses. Think they're all dead? Nope. Now they are. Surely that's all of them. Lockdown likely saved his personal guard to defend himself and the Dark Spark. Then let us finish this. Prepare yourselves, Autobots. Through this door, Lockdown and the Dark Spark await. Okay, so that's basically saying, this is the point of no return, make sure you have the gear you want. What gear do I want? I don't think I actually want the Path Blaster for this then. Because... I want... Uh, okay, fine, just upgrade that quickly, that'll do, yeah. I want the right Cannon. There's no upgrades for that, weirdly. Oh wait, yes there is, I just don't have any points for it. But yeah, I think that's going to serve me better. I'm fine with those. We'll very quickly open those additional crates, and then we're just going to go, rather than do a break, I know we're at half an hour here, but if we're just at the last boss, I think we can just afford to, you know, just get on with it. We already had Starscream. I don't need cloaks. Energon Burst Heal is handy, though. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of repeats now, although there are still a lot of characters left to unlock, which is strange. I need more weapon upgrades, is what I need. Sideswipe we already have. Exploding headshots, sounds fun. Right, last one. Come on, I'm ramming the X button. We got a weapon unlocked that I didn't have unlocked. That was a scatter blaster upgrade, I think, if I read it fast enough. Anyway, time to go. Last boss, go. Please don't be cheesy and cheap and tacky and hard. Oh, it's super, super dark. Lockdown. Hello, lockdown. I could probably shoot you from here if I wanted. Yeah, this is a boss room. Is that a space bridge? You think so small. It's a time bridge. The Dark Spark has granted me the ability oh. to manipulate space time. But if I am to reach far enough back in time to retreat the Decepticons. So there's respawning health and ammo. So yeah, this is a this is the boss room. So his goal is to use a space-time bridge to, well, go back to Cybertron when it was still during the war and fought when instead? I don't know. I assume right now we're just to kill guys, so that's what I'm going to do. I like the irony of fighting like Megatron as Optimus. I'm, I'm basically using Megatron's gun here. If you haven't heard me say that in previous parts already, which I know I did say, but you don't necessarily- Oh my god, that's like a billion snipers. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to be our last boss in the case of, you know, just, just throw a bunch of guys at him. I mean, Lockdown doesn't seem particularly intimidating. I'm not familiar with him as a character either, so Drift is in a lot of trouble, though. I mean, there's health all around, man. I don't need them all. 
Land. Ugh. Should probably use... No, I want to save my heavy ammo for when lockdown does actually appear. Because I think it will wreck him. Destroy the stabilizers. Is that what I'm hitting? Oh, that is what I'm hitting. Okay, well, glass cannon. That, why isn't it changing weapon? There. Did that, is that lockdown roaring there? Oh, there's lockdown over there, I see. He's teleporting. Megatron put such a high price on you, Prime. Once you and Megatron were evenly matched, neither able to gain purchase and overtake the other. Perfectly poised conflicts such as those are rare indeed, and they breed boundless opportunities for bounty hunters like me. I used to be very well paid. I want to be well paid again. You want to go back? Back to the heart of the war? Never! Oh, I don't... Oh, suddenly it's just us! You think too small. I'm going to bring the war to the present. So that it can oh, he can hang off walls. Okay. Again. You would bring back the Decepticons? Thrust us into another million years of civil war. And turn this planet to ash. It doesn't appear to be working on him, does it? Without hesitation, the dark Melee locked in to stun him. There. Me. Can't tell if this is working or not, quite frankly. And that obviously hurt. Melee locked in to stun him. If I try and do that, he hits me. Hopefully there's a health around outside somewhere. Oh, he did actually take damage there somehow. He's hanging off the walls again. I'm going to look for a health quickly because I don't really want to have to waste... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I don't want to have to waste my health until we're at a point where there's no health around the arena. And the only thing about using this gun is it doesn't have to take a long time to reload. The ammo hasn't respawned yet. My drone is still kicking. Megatron's payment for you will our account. Okay, so now he's back down, so what we do is we shoot him and then we try and break his shield, right? Let the darkness envelop I don't think I have any heavy ammo left, unfortunately. I wasted it during the period where he was apparently invincible. I am never in darkness. I have light within me. Oh, okay, he's done his weird thing again. Just about dodge. Yeah, that hurt. Okay, let's do healing throw. Save me. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have any. You will be my finest. Is he taking damage from this? He isn't, is he? I will be no one's trophy. I mean, okay. When I mean Melium, his weird shield thing disappears, and I appear to be able to hurt him. Personally, his damage is increased, which is a bit irritating. Yeah, no, I'm really locked down to stun him. That's what I'm trying to do. And then he hits me back. I'm do that pulse thing again. Yeah, yeah, he isn't actually making physical contact with me right now, game. Oh, right, apparently he is making physical contact with me, and he insta-killed me with 70 HP. Whatever. <clears throat> oh, God's sake. Oh, well, this time I won't waste the glass cannon during this phase. I shall use my Megatron gun, whatever it's called. Riot cannon. So during this phase we just knock him over. We know that much. Then when he's on the floor, apparently I've just immediately him because everything else is pointless. Well, wait, he didn't do this attack before, what the hell? Is that him on the ground now? Nope. Yep. Yeah, he's not taking damage. 
but he is for my melee attacks. Melee lock down to stun him, and then I get killed when I do that. Yeah, that doesn't really work. I still don't know how I did that huge amount of damage. I mean, what am I supposed to do when he does that? I've tried getting away from him, he can hit you without actually hitting you, so... Ugh. I hate tacky ass last bosses that are badly made. Oh, I don't want to go back. You think too smooth. I'm going to ah, da, 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 da. Oh, maybe I have to melee to stun him when he's charging up the attack. Maybe that's what it means. But if that is what it means, why is it displaying it constantly? I stay next to where the cube is. Right, melee lockdown to stun him. Did that work? Did it pop us? Ah, god damn it. Okay, ignore what the game is telling me because that doesn't work. When he's about to charge up his attack, I need to be as far away as possible to have time to avoid the first attack. Oh, I don't want to go back. You, you know, it'd be nice if it gave me helpful tips. But apparently, it doesn't know what those are. Right, so now he's on the ground. He's not got a shield. Does his damage. Yes. Yes, it does. Very, very slightly. So what I should probably do is melee him, and then blast him. Melee and blast. Melee and blast. That's not really working as well as I hope. Yeah, look at that. He's nowhere bloody near me. And he's hitting me. What kind of bullshit is that? God damn it. Now he's going to kill me because I can't get to the cube. Ah! That is, if I had known there was going to be a tacky ass last boss, I would have split the video because otherwise this is going to run on for ages. I don't know what else to do. What did I do to avoid him? What was I doing the very first time? Because that appeared to be working. I thought I was just doing dashies, which is what I've been trying. Maybe try vehicle form? I don't know. You would break back the Decepticons? Blah blah blah. Yeah, we're gonna have to hear this every goddamn time. Oh, you're still alive. Turn this planet to ash. Can I just profit. smack you? No. Of course I can. That'd be too easy. Oh, did I have my gun drawn out last time? Is that maybe what it was? Is that what's doing the most damage to? If it is, I'll keep it alive. I mean, I hate when enemies don't react to getting hit as well. That is such a pain in the ass of gamey thing to happen. I used an item to restore my shield there, so I should be able to take one hit. Right, apparently I could get through that one. And my phone just went off, so apologies if you hurt. I mean, it's not telling me to melee him. Now it is. Hell, that doesn't get hit. Screw you, game. Stop telling me lies. Also, there really should be checkpoints halfway through fights like this. But I got him to half health before, and that was not the case. I think he's going after my drone. Ugh, oh, tacky thing coming. He is not touching me! Can't change forms here. I was just thinking, oh, maybe I can get him with like missiles in vehicle form. No. The cube hasn't respawned, so I guess I'm dead then when he does that attack again next, because I can't kill him when he does it. <sighs> Hello, lockdown. Did you, did you really lose me? It's a circular room, you moron. They must be respawning soon, because I'm running out of ammo. But, you know, there's the ammo respawn, but has the health respawned? And that's the main question. Unfortunately, lockdown is at the side where the health is. But now be behind me. Uh, the health is not respawned. No, I'm not going to melee lock down stun him because that just gets me killed. I mean, if I die this time, which I think is incredibly likely, and I'm going to do a cut to a win because this could take me a while given how tacky and annoying this is. 
Yep, you're gonna kill me with that attack. Okay, so stay tuned for a win in a second. So here's a winning run against the lockdown boss, which is one of the worst bosses I've ever fought. Unfortunately, I had to bring the difficulty down to easy, and you might be thinking, what, you couldn't do it on normal? Well, no, I couldn't. I, even after I worked out how, what you're supposed to do, the game was telling you the right thing. You're supposed to melee him over and over. The only time you have to shoot him is when he's hanging on the walls, which is fine. So he was still one-shotting me any time he got to me, which was bullshit, but I was finding ways to get around it by using the healing drone, which was one of the... Uh, the items I'd equip myself with. Well, the game decided to randomly stop respawning the usable items I started with at the checkpoint, which meant I was totally defenseless other than the one health on the stage. So basically, I thought, fuck that. Screw it. I'm not putting up with a one-shotting boss when it's taking away my items. So I put it down to easy, and you can basically just tank him. So that's what you're going to see. Also, enjoy the super confusing ending. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, and, you know, enjoy the finale. Ta-ta for now. Darkness envelop you, Optimus. There's no use in resisting. I am never in darkness. I have light within me. We're not done, Prime. Face me. This isn't over! We need to clear the unstable zone. Autobots, roll out! Lockdown sought to manipulate the past in order to control the future. But the only future to master is one's own. The humans understand this, yet they also understand that the past is the genesis of all things and must be afforded proper deference. I thought this day would never come.